in the subject of oceanology, there's a verse in the Quran, in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, verse number 53, which says that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has let free two bodies of flowing water, one sweet and palatable, and the other salty and bitter. Though they meet, they do not mix. There is a barrier which is forbidden to be trespassed. The same message is repeated in Surah Rahman, chapter number 55, verse number 19. Marajal Bahrain al Taqyan. That we have let free two bodies of flowing water. Though they meet, they do not mix. There is a barrier, there is a barzakh which is forbidden to be trespassed. When the commentators of the Quran, when they try to understand this verse, all of us know very well, and we knew it earlier also, that there are two types of water, sweet and salty. But they could not understand the verse of the Quran, which says that there are two types of water, sweet and salty. Though they meet, they do not mix. There is a barrier which is forbidden to be test passed. There is a barzakh. The Mufassirins, the commentator could not understand what did it mean. Today, after science have advanced, we have come to know that whenever one type of water flows into the other type of water, sweet water flows into the salty water, it loses its constituents and gets homogenized into the water it flows. This transitional homogenizing area, according to the Quran, is called as the barzakh. It is an unseen barrier. And this has been testified and verified when this verse of the Quran was showed to Prophet Zahay, who is a very famous marine scientist and a professor in oceanology in the University of Colorado in USA. And he said that what the Quran mentions 1400 years ago has been testified by science recently. And this phenomena can be seen even with the naked eye at the Cape Point, the southernmost tip of Cape Town in South Africa, where one type of water flowed into the other type, we even see that the colors of both these waters differ. Another good example is in Egypt, when the river Nile flows into the Mediterranean Sea. And the best example is the Gulf Stream. It flows for thousands of miles. It starts from the Gulf of Mexico and goes to the east side of North America, travels upwards, then goes eastwards and travels to the west coast of Europe. It flows for thousands of miles, but yet the two waters are distinct. And if you're traveling in a ship towards the extreme of the Gulf Stream and pick up, take a bucket of water from the left side and a bucket of water from the right side, you will find that one is sweet and the other is salty. Even the temperature between the two, they differ. Imagine, Quran speaks about this phenomena 1400 years ago.